So pedal board update. I am almost finished with it, um, but I discovered a problem. I got everything hooked up, working okay, just making some final adjustments on things, still have a couple final pedals to switch out, but I got it working. Um, everything works, loop switchers, all the pedals are, are working at the moment. Here's the problem, um, and hopefully you can hear this okay with the microphone on my iPhone. I guess we'll find out. So let me, all right, so this is my clean tone, a guitar directly into the amp. what the guitar sounds like in bypass to the pedal board. Optimally, it would sound the same. top end uh, with the run through the, the pedal board. Um, I'm even losing some volumes. I must be losing a lot of signal. And, you know, I tried to design this so that wouldn't happen. Um, this loop switcher isn't buffered at all, but by being a loop switcher itself should help some so that when these pedals are all off, the signal's not going through all of them in bypass, but instead just going through this. Uh, all the boss pedals, of course, are buffers. So right after this loop switcher, it goes into the MD-200. Um, the GEC-9 loop switcher has a buffer, uh, only an input buffer, doesn't have an output buffer. And then that's going into the Terraform, into the DD-200. Boss pedal has a buffer goes into the RC5 loop station, boss pedal has a buffer. So I've got buffers um, kind of spread out throughout the signal that should be keeping that signal loss from happening, and they're not. I suspect a couple of things. Um, some of these buffers just may not be as good as I need them to be. Uh, probably some of the ones in the boss pedals. But there may also be a problem with the buffer in the GEC-9. Um, I, I haven't looked up the numbers on it to see what the impedance is, but it does only have the input buffer. And after that input buffer, even if you use it, you can go in with the buffer, you can bypass the buffer. I'm using the buffer circuit in it. But after that buffer circuit, it gets split twice, uh, the signal does. So the first time the signals um, split and part of it goes into a special uh, output that you could plug into after the buffer circuit and before it goes through any of the loops in here, the rest of the signal um, goes through the loops. And then after the six serial loops, it gets split again uh, for stereo purposes, where there's two outputs for it. 
Um, and at that point, you can hit connect one into the three independent loops, or you can route them differently or whatever. So I'm using this, you know, I specifically chose this because of some of the routing options it has and things, but I don't know if the buffer is as good as I need it to be. Um, and even that, along with these boss pedal buffers, obviously isn't doing the job. So I'm going to test a couple things here. I think uh, the first thing I'm going to try is to split the signal chain, to basically cut it in half and see what difference that makes. Um, and then I have another really high quality buffer um, that I can try to add after I get a sense of what might be the best place to put it. Um, and then we can test and see what things sound like after adding that. So first off, I wanna split the signal chain and see what kind of difference that might make just in terms of the signal loss. So I'm gonna start off by splitting it in half with um, coming out of the first half, probably the easiest way to do that. I mean, I could do it out of the MD200, but that's already got a buffer on it. So maybe I'll just come out of the um, loop switcher here and see what that sounds like. All right, so here again, this is the clean signal directly into the amp. So I, I may already be losing just the least little bit of top end um, in this first part of the signal chain. Let's try it again. So right now I'm going through the first half of my signal chain. does go right into the MD200. So even though at this point it's had to get through the loop switcher, the broadcast, the whammy, um, and the, the bit of cord coming down from the prism, the prism has a, a good buffer in it. So it's kind of relying on that to get this far and then it hits the MD200 and that's buffering it again. So I plugged into just before the MD200 seemed like I was losing a little bit. After the MT200, you might gain back that little bit. But the little bit that I'm losing is not nearly what I'm missing by the end of the signal, I think. All right, so now I'm gonna try the second part of my signal chain and see what happens. So this is me plugged directly into the amp. This is my clean signal. <laughs> Thank you. 
gonna see what I can do about this buffer. Okay, so it looks like most of my signal loss is happening happening in the second part of my chain. Um, possibly connected to the GC9, possibly just expecting too much from buffers that can't handle it. I've added the Petty John Lift M2K or M MK2 um, into my chain just before where I'd plugged in before into the somersault. Um, so this is going into the GC9 and everything that comes after it. Um, and this has a really good buffer in it. So I'm gonna plug directly into that and use that to push the second half of the chain and we'll see what happens. We'll see how it compares to the clean signal. All right, so this is my clean. <laughs> some of the routing in the GC9. I may have to add two buffers. So we'll see. Let me play around with it some more. <laughs> 